Hi, Pisces. Okay, we're going to do your March 2020 reading. It's general. Keep that in mind. So it may or may not resonate. We're going to see who's coming towards you. Okay, wow, that was like a bunch of cards I flipped over. Let's do this again. Alright, please hear it. Sagittarius. This energy imbues power with superior confidence and enthusiasm, with faith, good fortune, and authority. So for some, there could be a Sagittarius coming towards you in March. So, you know, this could be a friend, a family member, romantic interest. Um, maybe it's another fire sign, an Aries, a Leo. Uh, you have Gemini at the bottom of the deck. This energy is communicative, mischievous, lively, witty, and informative, stimulating exchange as possible. Um, so they could be an air sign, like a Gemini, maybe a Libra, Aquarius for some. If not, this is just the energy that this person is taking on, or they might have this somewhere in their chart, one of these signs. Uh, yeah, but this person is a very good communicator. They're probably very active. They could be very fit. They could maybe like to travel. This person is confident. They do have a lot of confidence. For some of them, they could be very well off. The 11th house, where the cosmos grants wishes, luck, friends, and social occasions. So they could have Gemini or Sagittarius in the 11th house. The 12th house at the bottom of the deck. This is the area of your life that is overwhelming. You yield to a greater cause or power. Oh yeah, with faith on this card here, with the Sagittarius card. Yeah, this person could have a really strong faith or spirituality. Um, some sort of practice that, that they follow. <clears throat> Or they could have Sagittarius or Gemini in the 12th house. Let's get a planet card. Please, Spirit, give us a planet card to Pisces, March 2020. Who's coming towards Pisces? The moon. Your unconscious, sensitive inner emotions and responses. So they could have moon in Sagittarius or Gemini or in Venus. You have Venus at the bottom of the deck, the part of you that desires beauty, success, indulgence, and valuables. And Venus rules um, Taurus and Libra. So those signs could be significant. <clears throat> um, the moon always makes me, you know, think of Cancer and you, Pisces, even Scorpio. Yeah, this person could be very good looking, very fit. Maybe this person, they might be well off financially or you may view them that way. <clears throat> but this person definitely um, values you know, like material goods, the finer things in life. They could be very intuitive. Okay. 
Okay, Pisces. This is a lot of cards here. Uh, um, let's see. Nine of Wands, Strength. Seven of Swords, The Wheel. Ace of Pentacles. Nine of Wands always makes me think of someone that's, like, defensive. So this person definitely works hard. They're a hard worker. And maybe that's why this person is able to afford these, you know, finer things in life. Maybe more luxury items. But this person definitely works hard. Um... Nine of Wands always makes me think of defense. So this person could be defensive. Maybe they have, with with strength here, they have a strong need to defend themselves or to protect themselves. But she's kind of smirking in that card. So maybe this person feels that, that their defense their defenses against getting hurt are really strong right now. I feel like this person has has quietly snuck away or is sneaking away towards a new beginning, towards a better opportunity. Maybe for some, they sneakily, like, left one job. Maybe they got, like, a job opportunity or something and, like, left a job. Um, this person has been divinely led with the wheel here to a new beginning or some new start because all of the aces in the tarot represent a new beginning, a new start. You know, this is also the, like, proposal card. This is, you know, this is this is some, like, physical, tangible offer. Like, Pentacles, to me, you know, makes me think of your material assets, uh, finances, stuff like that. So this person could have gotten some sort of opportunity that maybe they're keeping quiet, especially with like the moon here, the wheel, seven of swords, ace of pentacles, like, yeah. It's almost like they know that like they're on this wheel that's turning in bringing them to this Ace of Pentacles, this new start here. For some, they could come in with like a gift or like an offer to you, Pisces. Body work. Your life purpose involves body work such as massage therapy, energy healing, physical therapy, or exercise training. Um, and then there's a tattoo on this card. So this card always makes me think of tattoos. So you or this person or the both of you could have tattoos. Maybe some of you guys work in a field such as this or this person does. Maybe they do some sort of exercise training, physical therapy, some sort of energy healing. They could be into, you know, massage therapy, stuff like that. Maybe more like holistic type stuff, healing here. Um, 
maybe they work at like a chiropractic office or something like that but so body work this person could could work with their hands you're on the right path keep doing what you're doing because it's working so you're on the right path You and this person are meant to cross paths here. Yeah, this person really views you favorably. They really view you in, in a high light, in a good light. healer. Yeah, this person's healing. They have healing hands. You have the spiritual gift of healing and a desire to share it with others. So this person could have a very healing energy. They could be in the healthcare field or they're desiring to be in the healthcare field. Or they work at a healthcare facility. For, for some of you guys, maybe this is like a employer or a job opportunity coming towards you with this Ace of Pentacles here, like the wheel. Like this is the, this, this is the universe, like bringing this in. Um, some of you guys might have had to, you know, be strong with strength here. Waiting for this opportunity to come in. And it's been, it's been a wish, it's been a desire of yours with the 11th house. Crystals at the bottom of the deck, your connection to crystals and gemstones is a channel for healing energy. So you could have crystals, Pisces. This person could, the both of you guys could be into crystals, getting into that. Trusting your intuition, my life is truly guided. Yeah, so trust your intuition. Taking action, I enthusiastically embrace life's boundless possibilities. Yeah, so this person is definitely going to take action towards you with this take action card. Or this person is very action oriented. They're very, you know, self-starting, very, um, you know, go-getting. This person could also have a very strong intuition as well. I feel like the both of you could have a really strong intuition here. Um, what else? Let's get another card. Listening with your heart. I trust the messages I receive from my heart. Yeah, your heart, your intuition, your gut feeling. This... Um, this is heart chakra here on this card. That's what that looks like. So you could be heart chakra dominant. This person could be heart chakra dominant. Yeah, really, really connect with your heart chakra. There's a need for you to connect with your heart chakra here. Simplifying your life. I cherish the simple pleasures of life starting fresh underneath that yeah look this person whoever you're connecting with or whoever's coming towards you or whatever opportunity this is um because i don't know if you guys could could feel the need to defend this opportunity here and to kind of maybe not be sneaky but like maybe you're being quiet about it but people could be viewing you as sneaky with the seven of swords here but whoever is coming in um this person has been simplifying their life and they're definitely starting fresh they're starting fresh 
They definitely, this person definitely wants to give birth to something new in their life. New beginning. This person could be quietly, like, tidying up their life, their home. Twenty-five truth. So the number twenty-five could be significant. Um, but truth. Yeah, listen, listen to to your intuition, your higher self, your inner truth. Number twenty-two relief. That could be significant. That number. Number eight at the bottom of the deck. Divine connection. Wow, communication underneath that. So this is um, a significant connection here. If this isn't like a job opportunity for, for some of you. But this person definitely has a very calming energy to them. And then look at how she's playing the harp here. So music could be significant. Um, yeah, so I'm going to leave that here, Pisces, because I'm going to get cut off. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll be back soon with another video.